Hello everyone, welcome back to another Sunday School lesson. Can you believe this is already our sixth week of online lessons? Um, time certainly flying past, we miss all of you. Hope and pray you are doing well wherever you are. But we're going to be continuing with our series on Kingdom Living. And today our lesson is called Prayer for Kingdom Living. So, let's get started with today's lesson. And here we are. Can you remember any of the lessons we've done in the last few weeks? Can you remember the past five weeks before this? Just going to give you a, think, a second to think about it. Any lessons you can remember? How about... We come to God empty-handed. We come with nothing. There's nothing we can give to get into heaven. It is only by God's grace. We are the salt and the light. We are the salt and the light of the world. And we should shine our light to the world and show them Jesus through the way we live. Then, do you remember that we must love our enemies? Even those people who are terrible to us, we still love our enemies. Do you remember the lesson about treasure in heaven? How our treasure is not on earth, our treasure is in heaven, and we should treasure God and what's to come above all else. The things of this world are meaningless compared to that. Then, contentment. We can trust God to provide for our needs. He is a good God, and he provides good things for us. And we're going to be continuing today learning about prayer. So, before we do that, let's have a quick asking of some questions, because we're going to learn about asking, seeking, and knocking. So I'm going to ask some questions first. Let's go this quick, quick, quick. Which is the tallest animal in the world? That was quite easy. Giraffe. Who was the first man on the moon? Neil Armstrong. Did you get that? Last one. If you suffer from arachnophobia... Which animal are you scared of? A spider. So, let's see. Now I've asked some questions. Let's continue back with our lessons for today. Here we are dealing with the Sermon on the Mount. Can you remember we've gone through many weeks of Jesus' teaching? Um, one of Jesus' most famous teaching. Here he is on the Mount teaching to hundreds, if not thousands of people, teaching them all about the kingdom of heaven. So... First, we learnt about we enter the kingdom by coming to Jesus empty-handed. Then people in the kingdom act differently so that others see God through their actions. We had three examples. They try to love the enemies. They try to live for Jesus now because his kingdom lasts forever. They try not to worry because they trust Jesus for what they need. But we find it so hard to be kingdom people, living differently so kingdom people need to keep praying that we would become more like the king of the kingdom. Kingdom people need to keep praying that we would become more like the king of the kingdom. So let's get into our passage for today. Get your Bibles, make sure um, you can read along with me. Matthew 7, 7 to 12. Matthew chapter 7, verses 7 to 12. Just give you a sec to find it. Matthew 7, verse 7 to 12. Ask and it will be given. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and the one who knocks it will be opened. Or which one of you, if, he, if his son asks him for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a serpent? If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him? the golden rule. So whatever you wish that others would do to you, do also to them, for this is the law and the prophets. Ask, seek, knock. It's lockdown time and I know many of you are stuck at home, but maybe you've gone out and are playing in your garden on a regular basis. I hope you are if, you have, uh, if you're lucky enough to have a garden. So there you are playing away and there you are with your ball. And you start having fun and kicking it and kicking it higher and higher and higher. And oops, it's in the neighbor's garden now. We've all done this at some stage. What do you do? So, first of all, you go along and what do you hope for? You call out, hey, mister, you ask. You ask if he's around. Anyone there? Hey, mister, can I get my ball back? Uh-oh, you've asked and there's no response. So what do you do? 
you go seek him some more. So off you go, and you go to his gate, to his entrance gate there, or to his doorbell, and you start seeking for him. And then what do you do? You knock, or you ring the doorbell. Knock, knock. Hey, mister, can I get my ball back? You progressively try harder and harder. You ask, and then you seek, and then you knock. You're trying to get through to that person. And God says we must ask, seek, and knock for him too. So, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. And the one who seeks finds. And the one who knocks, it will be opened. But what about now? Also, lockdown time, you're stuck at home, you're getting hungry, and well, hopefully many of you are old enough and you can make your own food, but let's say you can't. Um, you're just that bit too young to, to use knives and things like that. So, you go along, uh, this would be like my three-year-old, um, Dad, I'm hungry, can I have a sandwich please? So, that's what you're hoping for. You're hungry and you're hoping you're going to get some food now. So, Dad comes along, hey, sure son, here you go, here's a rock. You're not very pleased with a rock, are you? Oh, son, you don't want a rock. How about this? You can have a rattlesnake. Ah, I don't want a rattlesnake. But let's be honest, even a fairly poor father, even a not great father, will feed his child. Maybe not well, maybe not brilliant, but even that n a not great father will provide food for his children. So, of which of you, if his son asks him for his bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a serpent? If you then, who are evil, if you're a terrible father, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him? So even we can be used as an example. Even though we're imperfect and fathers aren't perfect, God is so much better. If an imperfect, sinful father can give good gifts, God can certainly give good gifts. So, let's finish off. We're now looking at the golden rule. So, so whatever you wish that others would do to you, do also to them. For this is the will, and this is the law and the prophets. So, ultimately, we should pray to God for what we need. He is a good father and supplies our needs according to his will. So, you're hoping that his will may be a sports car. What happens if you want a sports car? You need a sports car and you start praying for, the, um, for God for your sports car. Just remember it. God provides our needs and he provides it according to his will. He provides what we need, but be careful of providing Prepare, um, just asking for what we want. We should be asking God, God, guide my heart. Help me to pray about what you want me to pray about. Okay, let's get back to our memory verse in closing. Remember, this is the, the alternative version, Matthew 5 verse 3. God blesses those people who depend only on him. They belong to the kingdom of heaven. And remember, prayer is um, depending on him. If we truly trust God, we will pray lots to him. So here's our memory verse. Matthew 5 verse 3, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Matthew chapter 5 verse 3, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. B Matthew chapter 5 verse 3, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Matthew chapter 5 verse 3, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Matthew chapter 5 verse 3, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Matthew chapter 5, verse 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Matthew chapter 5, verse 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Prayer time. Pray, pray now with your family. Pray to God, that he might help you become greater prayer warriors, that we can depend on him in prayer, that he can guide our hearts. Heavenly Father, please help us to pray to you, trusting that you good gifts, you hear all our prayers and are so good to us. Amen. So, just in summary, here we are, coming to God with nothing. And this is what all is part of the Sermon on the Mount. But 
Jesus taught us we are the salt and the light. We should stand out. We should be different to the world. We should love our enemies. Even though the world thinks we should, we should love our enemies truly. We should treasure things in heaven. We shouldn't treasure the things of this world. We can find contentment in God. God provides contentment. And lastly, we should be praying to God because God is the one who provides. So let's do a quick activity. If you have some cardboard or paper at home, why not make a, a sort of hanger for a door? Matthew 7, 7, Jesus said, praying is like asking, seeking, and knocking. So you can hang it on a door and just remember that we must ask, seek, and knock. We must try really hard. Asking, seeking, knocking, asking, seeking, knocking of God, praying to him all the time. So that's something you can make, um, cardboard or paper or whatever it is, make and put the words ask, seek, and knock on there. And you can color it in a bit and make that as an activity for today, learning about asking, seeking, and knocking. Um, so thank you very much. It's been wonderful being with you today. We'll see you soon. Thanks. God bless.